What's up guys, Levain here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin. Uh, this video I'm going to be talking about the stat priority for Red going into 9-2. Now, there is not exactly one meta or right way to optimize your Paladin for PvP as Retribution. Uh, the season is still evolving, which is why it's taking me so long to get this video out. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with my Red Paladin as I get this gear. Now, I'm on the PTR here, so I have access to the set bonus. Because unfortunately for us, I still have not been lucky enough to even get a 2 set yet on live. Uh, let alone, like, upgrades from the vault at all. But here we are running the helm, shoulders, pants, and gloves for the set pieces for Red Paladin. Uh, this build is going to be the mastery build. And a lot of people are going to be running haste builds this season. And I think either one works. Now, the idea behind the haste build is because haste can affect your auto attacks, you'll be getting more procs from your two set bonus, which is your art of war. Now, your global cooldown also gets lowered the higher haste you have. So you're going to be able to fit maybe two, possibly three globals in uh, with a very high haste build for your art of war procs. Now, recently, Blizzard buffed the duration of Seraphim Art of War proc to 4 seconds, up from 3 seconds, which was actually up from 2 seconds originally. It was crazy low at first. So I think the Mastery build might have a little bit better of a chance to um, succeed. Uh, now, both builds are really good, but my thinking is that because Seraphim now lasts 4 seconds, even with low haste, aka longer GCDs, We'll be able to fit at least two Templar Verdicts into this um, proc window, or Art of War, Seraphim. Um, I'm going to be running Versatility on both my Legendaries, and um, I'm slightly balancing out my uh, my stats on my rings, because you can go for a double Burst Mastery ring with the 262 Speed ring, but at the moment I do not have one, in, even on the PTR. And then you can also, if you want to, change your cloak from the Versatility Mastery Cloak to the Versatility Haste Cloak. It's not going to give that much of an impact to your stats here. And as you can see, I almost am at 12% haste here. Um, when I upgrade my haste ring, which is still 259, even on the PTR, uh, I wasn't able to find a 285 ring for some reason. Um, my haste will likely jump to 12% when I have a base versatility cloak. So in my opinion, that's probably the build I'm going to be going with. Uh, that will more than double the haste that I currently have on live. I have about uh, like 5.5% on live, my haste, and also about 6% crit on live. I have, I have no crit pieces on live, so my crit is very low. So we get double the crit and double the haste of live while maintaining roughly the same mastery percentage here and again this will go up slightly when i um when i finish gearing out my character because uh, on the ptr we don't have access to every minor piece that we that we could get so for example uh where increased mastery would come here to hit about 45 percent which is what i have on live would come from the 285 version of my neck the versatility mastery neck piece um and now guys you can honestly if you want, you can sim your character or, or you can get a feel for how you want to gear your character on the PTR. Personally, I tried a super high haste build, um, which had me sit around 16% haste without the haste trinket. Um, it felt, I mean, it felt really fluid. It felt nice, but I just like the mastery burst more. Uh, typically, you're killing within two global cooldowns from full on a red paladin, as long as you're critting with very high mastery. And when you're Seraphim procs, you can get around 56% mastery with the mastery build and about 20% haste, 20-21% uh, haste at full build. So it's going to be up to you guys. Again, I keep reiterating that, but I think there's going to be three primary ways to gear your red paladin. You could go full mastery and just send it like last season, like most paladins last season. You could go full versatility haste. Um which a lot of Red Paladins will likely be doing when they get their 2 and 4 set. Or you could do a balanced build where you go for maybe like 12 to 15% haste and 40 to 45% mastery, which is likely what I will uh, be doing in the near future when I get these pieces. All right, guys, if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe for more, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash PvP. 
and um, you know, just to reiterate that comments thing. Also, let me know if you have had any luck in the Great Vault getting your set pieces or even in raid drops. And if you have, what do you plan on going? Haste versatility or haste or uh, not haste mastery uh, or mastery versatility because, you know, it's going to be three different builds this season. I promise you. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.